in a quaint village nestled at the foot of a towering mountain range, lived a young girl named Elara. She was known for her curious nature and the sparkle in her eyes that seemed to reflect the beauty of the world around her. The village was surrounded by lush forests, and at the heart of these woods stood an ancient oak tree that the villagers called the Whispering Oak. The Whispering Oak was said to hold the wisdom of generations past. And it was believed that if one listened carefully, the wind would carry the voices of ancestors speaking in hushed tones. But there was a catch, only the truly courageous could approach the tree and hear its whispers. Elara had grown up hearing stories about the Whispering Oak. And she was determined to uncover its secrets. However, the villagers had their doubts about her endeavor. Many believed that only the bravest of souls could stand before the ancient tree. And they didn't think a young girl like Elara was up to the challenge. Undeterred by the skepticism around her, Elara embarked on a journey to prove her courage. She ventured into the woods armed with nothing but her determination and an unyielding belief in herself. As she got closer to the whispering oak, the air seemed to buzz with an energy that she couldn't quite explain. Finally, she stood before the towering tree. Its gnarled branches reached out like ancient arms. And its leaves rustled softly in the breeze. Elara took a deep breath and closed her eyes. Willing her heart to steady its pace. With a tremulous but resolute voice. She spoke. I am Elara. And I seek to hear the whispers of the past. A moment of silence enveloped the clearing. Then, a soft, melodic breeze began to play around her. And she could swear she heard faint echoes of laughter and wisdom. It was as if the tree itself was acknowledging her courage. From that day forward, Elara visited the whispering oak regularly. She would sit beneath its branches. Her heart open and her mind receptive to the stories of those who had come before her. The more she listened, the more she felt a connection with her ancestors and the lessons they had to offer. As the seasons turned, news of Alara's encounters with the Whispering Oak spread throughout the village. Slowly, the skeptics turned into admirers. And the young girl who had once been doubted was now seen as an embodiment of courage. One evening, a storm gathered over the village. Thunder roared and lightning streaked across the sky. As the villagers huddled in their homes, fearful of the tempest, Elara made her way to the Whispering Oak. She believed that if she could face the storm and the tree's whispers in such conditions, she would truly prove her bravery. Rain poured down as Elara stood before the oak. The winds howled and the branches swayed wildly. But she stood her ground, her resolve unshaken, with determination burning in her eyes. She spoke, I am Elara, and I stand strong even in the face of nature's fury. The wind seemed to quiet down, and a serene calm enveloped the clearing. The tree's whispers were more distinct than ever, sharing tales of courage in times of adversity of facing the unknown with unwavering determination. As the storm subsided and the first rays of dawn broke through the clouds, the villagers emerged from their shelters to witness a sight that would forever stay etched in. Their memories. There stood Elara, drenched but triumphant, beside the whispering oak. From that day on, Elara became a symbol of courage in the village. Her unwavering determination to hear the whispers of the past and her fearlessness in the face of the storm were an inspiration to all. She had proven that courage wasn't just about facing external challenges but also about listening to the whispers within, the whispers of the heart that guided one through life's trials. And so, the legacy of Elara and the Whispering Oak continued. Reminding all who heard the tale that courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it, and that the most profound acts of bravery often began with a single step into the unknown.